level. Hallelujah. Then the gifts that come from my mouth. Yes, right. The gifts that come from my mouth are just yes. But you notice when the police pull you over. Come on. Ah, say that. Oh, what he says you know is, about the step away from yes. the vehicle yes. and lift your hands. Work it out. Yeah. Yeah. Work it out. Mm. And everybody lift their hands. But what the police says is lift them higher. He wants to see you totally. He don't want to see nothing. But do you know when you continue to lift your hands? When we was lifting our hands just a second ago, it only lasted for so long because our horns got tired. Talk, sir. A total yes causes physical pain. Yeah. Talk, sir. Yeah. yeah, it's not easy. Yeah. A total yes is not easy. Yeah. We did this for so long. It went down here. It went to here. Yeah. And then we went back down. You talking, sir? Because physically, sometimes we just the total yes. What we say on Sunday morning, it'll last Monday. Yeah. It'll last right. Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, but it started hurting by oh, Wednesday yeah. Thursday. Oh, and that yes that we gave him begins to slowly diminish. Mm. So be careful. Mm. Be real careful when you say yes, yeah. Lord, have no way. Yeah. Yeah. Be real careful because what you opening the door for is God to really yeah. have his way in your life. Oh, yeah, You're we talking about sick before, yeah. Oh. I, I, I woke up. I went to the hospital for a chest pain and woke up with a tube in my side. My Lord. I didn't even know I had a right lung collapse. I went in for a chest pain. Mm. Oh. Woke up, Hispanic man in the other side of the bed. I tried, I didn't know where I was. My but when you say yes, come on. When you say yes, yeah. you open yourself for everything. Yes. For everything. Let me read the scripture and I'm gonna be out of your way. In Romans 8 and 25. That's a good book, awesome. And if you allow me to read it from the New Living Translation version. And I'm going to go ahead and go with this. I only have, I think I just spent three of those ten minutes. Verse 28, I'm going to give it back to you. <laughs> Verse 28 reads from the New Living Translation version, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Verse 29 and 30, I want you to repeat after me. For God knew me. For God knew me. In advance. In advance. And he chose me. And he chose me. To become like his son of to Jesus. To become like his son of Jesus. Verse 30. And having chosen me. And having chosen me. He called me. He called me. To come to him. To come to him. And having called me. And having called me. He gave me. He gave me. Right standing with himself. Right standing with himself. And having given me. And having given me. Right standing. Right standing. He gave me. He gave me. His glory. His glory. His glory. Yeah. If you look at verse 30, it says, then he also glorified. But in the new translation version, it says, and he gave them his glory. His glory. His glory. In other words, it says he gave them his dignity. He gave them his splendor. This is what you have inside yourself. His splendor, his magnificence, his, his splendor, his greatness. You have his eminence inside of you. He's already predestined. He already have foretold everything. I reminded of Jeremiah when he even thought of his age. He said, I knew you. When you was... You wouldn't even thought of. You wouldn't even walk in this earth. I already knew you. That's right. God's glory is Himself within us. But what hinders that? What hinders it is our excuses. But if you notice, it don't take away from the glory that's in us. That's right. But what hinders it going out is our excuses. Your theme is yielding excuseless surrender. The fact is that God's glory is in us. If you go to Genesis, he created man when he said that I want to be, let us create man in our image and in our likeness. 
Yeah. In other words, he says, let, let us create them like, like us. Yeah. And then he breathed yeah. into them, yeah. into us, himself. All right. So the secret lies within you. That's right. God's treasure lies within all of us. Yeah. Yeah. If you look at uh, Psalms, it's, David says, what is man? After you look at all of this world, if you look at the creation of this world, what is man? Yeah. That you so light. You look so glory. Yeah. It's man. Yeah, yeah. Look at everything he created. Yeah. He took time. Yeah. He stopped everything he was doing. And then he took the dust, mm. not dirt. Right. Dust. If you Make ever tell me, wipe, wipe your desk, wipe the counter, yeah. and the dust. He took time. Mm. To make each and one of us, that means he took the dust particles. Mm. Oh! My God! Yes, yes, yes. I'm just going to sing the song. Yeah, yeah. And then he said, I put myself in you. His glory resides in us. There is no doubt that his glory inhabits our being. There is no doubt that he is within them. There is no doubt of that. But the hindrance is when we give him excuses. When we, when we try to cover up. When, when we realize God, we, we, we want to go a certain level, but we understand we start giving him excuses. I'm not as good as this man. I'm not as good as this one. On this level in my faith, wow. but I'm not that we start giving him excuses yeah, yeah. and that hinders us, that hinders our progress. Yeah, yeah. And it reminds me in Exodus. Moses goes and Moses says, I want to see your face. Yeah. Moses experienced it first. Moses said, I want to see your face, and God says, This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be up on the mountain and I'm gonna hide you. Come on. Over here in the cleft of the rock. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you my glory. Yeah. He says, I'm going to show you my glory, and the only thing you will see is my backside. Yeah. And then you go to Isaiah, and Isaiah says, Anytime the glory of God fills the place, yeah. anytime the glory of God comes in, yeah. Isaiah says, Like this, in the year King Uzziah died, yeah. in the year he yeah. died, I saw him sitting up on yeah. the throne. Yeah. And anytime his glory fills the place, yeah. what happens first is, we realize what's within us first. Yeah. Yeah. Isaiah yeah. didn't yeah. start prophesying to people. Isaiah first saw himself. He said, yeah. I am a man. He said, woe is me. Yeah. I am a man of unclean yeah. And then he realizes I've been dwelling in a place. I've been somewhere where I shouldn't have been. Yeah. With people yeah. that had unclean lips. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime the glory comes in, yeah. it first shows us us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 